Closing night of the 2012 Mendocino Music Festival will take place on Saturday, July 21st. And closing concerts are always very, very exciting. And we've had 26 of them, uh, 25 of them, excuse me. And this will be the 26th closing concert. And I think it will be the most exciting concert of all. Uh, on this program, we're going to begin with Tchaikovsky's Romeo and Juliet. Uh, overture, which I think is one of the most gorgeous pieces of all times, one of the most romantic pieces of all time. I think Tchaikovsky was a romantic, a man capable of great love, and when you hear the soaring theme of, of Romeo and Juliet's love, you will, be, um, you will be transported. A gorgeous, gorgeous piece. We're also going to be doing a piece that I am excited about, and that is my son, Julian Waterfall Pollock, who is a great jazz pianist and can also play classical piano, has written a concerto for the festival orchestra. Julian, too, is romantic, romantic just like Tchaikovsky. He's all of 23 years old. I think when the, this concerto is performed, he will be 24 years old, many, many years. Um, this piece was written uh, in three movements. The first movement, um, is entitled uh, East, and it is a description of his life in New York City. It uh, has many moods to it. Uh, one of the moods is sort of frenetic and sort of wild, as you can imagine New York City being. If you've ever spent any time in Manhattan, you know that there's nothing but noise, car horns, lots of activity. And it sort of describes Julian's life in New York. So it starts with the initial theme of being quite um, energetic, quite vibrant, lots of rhythm, very jazzy, because Julian's also a jazz player. And then it sort of subsides just a little bit into a very romantic theme. It could be a theme that Ravel wrote in his, one of his piano concertos. Um, it could be a theme that Rachmaninoff wrote. Uh, it could be a theme that maybe Tchaikovsky wrote. All these are influences in Julian's life, and he is very romantic, so these, this kind of music really appeals to him. And then there's a development section, a middle section, that throws all this stuff back and forth between the orchestra and the piano. Very, very jazzy. If you look at the orchestra members playing, you'll see them both sweating it out because orchestra players don't always play jazz, and sometimes it's hard for them. But you also see smiles on their faces because it's so much fun to play. And then after this vibrant middle section, uh, we, we get back to the slow theme. And then we end the first movement in a great bravura section. And then the second movement is entitled, This Used to Be the Way Home. And this is a description of Julian's wanderings through uh, New York City, remembering that he used to live somewhere with a girlfriend of his in the past. And as he walked down the street, he realized, this used to be the way that I would go home and be with this girl. And it's a very nostalgic movement. It's a very sad move movement. But it also has a certain youthful optimism to, a, to it. It begins with some very beautiful, sustained sounds in the strings, which are, are very dissonant and give a sound, a feeling of being lost, which is how Julian felt when he was walking through the streets. It's almost as though you can't find your way. The familiarity of the sounds is also helps you realize that you're not completely lost, but you're just a little bit unsettled because things are familiar and yet they're not familiar. And after about a minute and a half, the, the piano comes in and slowly brings the audience to one of the most gorgeous themes you'll want to ever hear. It's a theme that is nostalgic, but also very positive and extremely beautiful. It too could have been written by Rachmaninoff or by Ravel. And then Julian takes the, this piece and goes into another section where he sets up sort of an ostinato that the orchestra picks up, and he starts improvising. And it's uh, got a little bit of rhythm to it, um, which finally breaks out into a huge statement by the orchestra of this gorgeous theme. And then the piece ends, the slow movement ends, in sort of a cloud of sound, sort of like a soundscape, where these chords that Julian had suddenly blossom and then die away in the same sort of lost feel that they began with. And then the last movement is entitled West. And Julian was born in California, in the Bay Area, and has lived in 
Albion, California, which is right next to Mendocino, and has also lived in Berkeley. And it is a description of how Julian felt when he came home from New York and the plane would be flying just past Sacramento, moving toward the Bay Area, and he would see this vibrant place in front of him. And he felt nothing but joy and delight as he saw the Bay Area and felt that he was coming home. And this last movement that, he, that you will hear when, if you come to this concert uh, lasts six minutes, and it's six minutes of pure joy, pure rhythm, pure jazz. And I must tell you, he wrote this movement in 24 hours. He got the idea while he was sleeping. He woke up in the morning. He ran out to his studio, and he wrote this piece. The last piece we're going to be playing in this concert, the only way we could have ended this piece would be to end with Mussorgsky's Pictures and an Exhibition. Mussorgsky wrote this piece. It was wrote it for piano. It is a description of what it's like to go to a gallery and see pictures and what it's like to stroll through the gallery. And it, the whole piece opens up with what one could call strolling music and probably something that will be recognized by all audiences. And each of the movements in this uh, piece all seem to show a different picture in the gallery. And this ends up, the whole piece ends monstrously big. Great, great big orchestra, great percussion as we see the gates of Kiev in front of us. Um, so this is going to be a really f exciting, exuberant concert with nothing but great music in it. What I'd like to do is just have you hear just an excerpt from Julian's Piano Concerto. This is the third movement, and this is actually the end of the third movement, West when Julian was coming home. <laughs> 